Well, this is Artifacts of Mars, and yet another celebrity has embarrassed this country with his antics. Colin Kaepernick was a football player for the San Francisco 49ers. Now, I don't pay much attention to football anymore. You know, the Bills are going to go 4-12 and probably. I don't care. At any rate, San Francisco 49ers quarterback Colin Kaepernick, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, has willingly immersed himself in the controversy by refusing to stand for the playing of the national anthem in protest of what he deems are wrongdoings against African Americans and minorities in the United States. Uh, Mr. Kaepernick, you want to see some real wrongdoing, I can show you some countries where things are infinitely worse. His latest refusal to stand for the anthem, he has done this in at least one other preseason game, came before the 49ers preseason loss to Green Bay at Levi's Stadium on Friday night. I am not going to stand up, show pride in a flag for a country that oppresses black people and people of color, Kaepernick told NFL media in an exclusive interview after the game. To me, it's bigger than football, and it will be selfish on my part to look it all the way. There are bodies on the street, and people getting paid to leave and getting away with murder. Uh, Mr. Kaepernick, how would you like to uh, go on a little tour of some of these countries in Africa? Are you aware, sir, that there's um, a live and thriving slave trade in African slaves? That's something that this country did away with. At great cost, I might add. But you don't care about history now, do you? 49ers issued a statement about Kaepernick's decision. National Anthem is and always will be a special part of the pregame ceremony. It is an opportunity to honor our country and reflect on the great liberties we are afforded as, as citizens and respecting such African, such American principles as freedom of religion and freedom of expression, we recognize the right of an individual to choose and participate or not in our celebration of our national anthem. Mayor's coach Chip Kelly told reporters Saturday that Ka Kaepernick's decision not to stand during the national anthem is his right as a citizen and it is not my right to tell him not to do anything. So, Mr. Kaepernick, uh, have you heard of the Rwandan genocide? That was black on black violence. Have you even heard of that? That's not going on here, Mr. Kaepernick. It's history now, but have you even heard of that? Duh! Uh, would you like to take a little tour, Mr. Kaepernick, with some of these African countries? Let's do that, just real quick. Uh, Mr. Kaepernick, sir, here's a whole bunch of them. Uh, some of them are in Asia. Some of them are in Africa. Equatorial Guinea is one of the worst human rights abusers. I never even heard of that before. So, shall we uh, take a look at that? We shall. We're going to bring up the CIA site on that. Mm, not much. Intelligence cycles in the process of gathering information, blah, blah, blah. Uh, 
Alright, um, I don't want to go too long in this video, so it's one of the ones that are on the uh, shit list. Let's put it that way. Eritrea is on the shit list. Somalia, Sudan, Western Sahara, another one I never heard of. That goes on and on. Libya. And you're sitting here complaining about the United States. If you were to go to one of those places, uh, I got news for you, Mr. Kaepernick. You would, if you were over there and you managed to get back and you saw what was going on over there, you would be on your way back here to the United States so fast. You would be running like you was being chased. You would be running a lot faster than being chased by some defensive tackle or something. <laughs> I guarantee you, you'd be running a lot faster than that. So, Mr. Kaepernick, sir, you are an embarrassment to this country. And I'm not talking about your football record. I don't know anything about your football record. But you're an embarrassment to this country because you're running us down, and you ought to be ashamed of yourself. This is my point. I'm not going to go all, over all these countries. I've simply shown some of the worst ones according to this site. I pretty much know which one of these ones of these are in Africa and which aren't. But it doesn't matter. Oppression is all over the world. And we're not perfect. I'm, I agree we're not perfect, but uh, we're a lot better than most of these in many respects. And I know I said up here it's like a big prison camp. There are problems, yes, I agree. <laughs> we're still better off than in most of these countries. You want to go to North Korea and try them out? You uh, can't even express yourself politically there, because if you do, you wind up getting uh, 20 years in prison. This is all utterly absurd, and you ought to be ashamed of yourself, Mr. Ka Kaepernick. You really should be ashamed of yourself. Shame on you, Mr. Kaepernick. And I hope you get intercepted when, I hope you get intercepted ten times when you play the Bills. If you play the Bills this year. And they're pathetic, don't worry about it, they're not going to pick you off. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.